Hey, crafters. Good to see you again after our... How long has it been? Has it been a week? It's been a week. It's been a whole week since we've seen you. We've missed you. And this video tonight, this is so cool. I tell you what, all the creative juices were flowing when Julie did this one. This is the K-Cup. Right here, the K-Cup. Okay. The milk carton. And the K-Cup holder. This is going to be a two-part series. It's going to be today, Thursday, and then next Tuesday. Uh, I, th I think she's going to be working on, we working on the K-Cup tonight. Yes, the K-Cup tonight. So what's cool about this, okay, with this little tote, is you could actually put, ta -da, here's another one over here, two of the milk cartons in it, if you like, okay? Or you could put one milk carton and a K-Cup, or you could go with, da 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 two K-Cups. Nice little gift for somebody, huh? Kind of fun. Hi, everybody. Tell us where you're from as you're logging in. We're glad to have you. My name is Tom Creek. My wife is Julie Creek. She is the uh, creative, uh, the creative, uh, the creative, uh, one. the creative one, the creative one. I like to say the creative genius in the family. Yeah, because all I do is work. Anyway, um, we <laughs> I mean, a workhorse. We are a small family owned business from beautiful Perrysville, Indiana, the land of tall corn and not much more. Uh, hey, Cindy Chilton, how you doing? I shipped your order today, by the way. Sorry about that. Uh, and uh, land of tall corn and not much more and Western Indiana. And we have our own line of dyes and rubber stamps, as well as adhesives and other products. Please join us on www.creekbankcreations.com. Uh, we found out that another show was canceled or postponed, might as well be canceled. The one in Chantilly, Virginia, that was set for the 1st of June. We were hoping we were going to be on the road. So it looks like you folks might be seeing us a little bit longer than what we originally anticipated. Vonda wants to know, how was your time off? Vonda, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. In fact, it was it was like real life again. It was it was pretty cool. We we liked that. And and we got our batteries charged, all that good stuff. Let me change my hat hat uh, pitch there. Uh, and uh, since we're gonna be going on the road, we're going to extend the sunshine code. Okay. Do we have a date we're gonna extend that, Mrs. We're gonna extend it until uh, until next month. Well, you're in charge of we're going we're going to extend that. <laughs> at least till um, the end of June at this point, you get 20% off of everything on the website. That's everything, except for some special prices I have on the Vagabond at $134.99, including freight paid delivered to you. And I can do it in all but those 10 states that are listed on the website <clears throat> uh, and, uh, and everything else, including the Caterpillar light boards and the rotary cutters. I have those, you get 20% off all Creek Bank Creations products, not to mention our 30% off bundle specials that we have. Speaking of bundle specials, some of you have already beat us to the punch because with this series that we're doing Thursday or today and next Tuesday, we're using three dies. We're using the cake up holder die, heap, as they say in engine country, heap bigum die. Um, there, we're using the uh, mini milk carton die. Another very large die and the uh, mini tote. Okay, that's uh, almost a $90 value, $89.97 if you were to buy that one at a time. We've got a bang up special. Okay, so we're going to let that out the door for $62.99. And guess what? You get free freight. So you're, uh, you're looking at a savings of about uh, $35 on that. So that's almost like buying two and getting one free, plus you're getting the free freight. So uh, take advantage of, of us on that. It's called the Mini Tote Bundle. And while you're looking at the bundles, we've got a lot of other bundles available from past videos that we've done in live YouTubes. And gosh, we're so excited to be back. I mean, our, like I said, our batteries are charged. We're revved and ready to go. Uh, and uh, we're going to have some fun tonight. Mrs. Creek, are you ready to go? I'm ready. Baby. She's ready. Let's okay. do it. Get out of the thing. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Get out. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. See, he left and now he's coming back. He's back. You know, okay. 
See those ladies? See yeah, those ladies I'll right move there? over now. Do you see all those? Do you see them all? Do you see them? Do you see them? That is the adhesive pearls. You know, I originally told They're you- They're not that, adhesive, honey. What are they? They're self-adhesive. Excuse me, self-adhesive self pearls. Look, I want you to look at that. I want you to look at these right here. Look at that. Look at that purple one. That purple one right there. There's Ruth. I want to tell you what, Julie was working in the craft room the other day. These look so real. I thought they were Pop Dots candy. I put them in my mouth and instead of popping, they just went crunch, crunch. And boy, they didn't taste very serious either. I tell you, I mean, they were, they were awful. But you is don't... There, <laughs> is there a point to this story? Yes, yes. Originally, I thought there were 10. You're kind of hot. I re not hot. I am, baby. Hot. I am hot. The air conditioner is not working in the facility. Anyway, originally told you there were 10. I recounted and there were 11. Oh, God, I hate it when I miscount. Okay, you shook the whole... Sorry, I shook the whole thing. Yeah. There's 12 of them. Okay. And one... This, I'm going to give all 12 of them away for one prize tonight. Uh, uh, yeah, that's... Ooh, what is that? That's a that's an eight, yeah. $18 value. And we're going to give a set of Wonder Wipes. For those of you who don't know what the Wonder Wipes, one's a wet wipe and one's a dry wipe. What are you, like? what are you looking at? I'm just looking. So we're going to have some great <laughs> questions tonight. We're going to have fun. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's rock and roll. All right. So um, we Tuesday, we tried to meet on Facebook on the Creek Bank Creativity page. That was a try. We tried. We tried. We tried. And I, it was a failure. It was a big... <clears throat> what's the loser? It was... It was... <laughs> That's a big loser. Um, I we have right. been. We have been <laughs> trying to get um, River Retreat House ready for guests because the state of Indiana is opened enough that we can have guests in Retreat House. And thank the Lord, we will have guests in Retreat House on Monday. So we have been over there cleaning and getting everything ready and the coffee pot i was cleaning the coffee pot the coffee pot blew all over the counter made me late for the youtube or for the facebook live and then it wouldn't stream we had all kinds of issues so sometimes i am still um sometimes you win and sometimes you lose and tuesday was a loser i tried to stream um, what does it mean when it says I still have, oh, accepted, yes, yes, and I, I have, um, something is wrong with Facebook, um, groups, and I have sent notification, if you have requested to join the group and I haven't accepted you, it's not because I don't want to hang with you, <laughs> it's because something is wrong at Facebook, so I have sent in a request for help, um, I'm not, I, I have, if you've requested to join the group and I have not approved you, on my end, it shows that I have no notifications. So something is wrong with Facebook. I messed and messed and tried to figure that out the other night, could not figure it out. So I have sent a um, message to tech support at Facebook. You know, what's happening with, I'm sure all of y'all are aware, everyone is like not running the full speed. So there's all kinds of problems. So I imagine Facebook's probably not fully staffed either. It doesn't is not responding to um, to our issue. So it we'll hopefully get all of that figured out. My apologies for Tuesday night's loser. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. So I know y'all can I know y'all can relate to that. So just kind of want to update you real quick about um, we sent out an email. If you get if you're on our Facebook or. Um, social media and um, requested for people to help us out uh, sharing our news about River Retreat House and that we needed bookings in River Retreat House. And uh, I was getting very concerned about what was going on with River Retreat House with cancellations. And that post on social media was shared over almost 500 times. And I got calls from all over the place. And basically River Retreat House is booked for the year. Um, I have like one weekend where I have a few, like if you were a single person and you wanted to come, or if there's a small group four or less, I have a weekend and I do have one weekend in October that the customer has not paid for. I caught that today. So, um, normally we don't put people on the books unless they pay. So somehow somebody slipped through the cracks. So I just wanted to say that, uh, thank you. Um, if you shared the post or helped us out when you, 
share posts and like posts. It just helps so much. And um, that was a direct answer to our prayer that 20, Jeremiah 29 11 that I was hanging on to last week. Um, and um, we, we needed it. We needed the shot in the arm and we needed uh, the little break that we got. We um, let's see, we did some gardening we rerouted a drain in the driveway. Hold it, don't tell everything. I got trivia questions here. I, I, oh. Whoa, Mrs. Creek. Mrs. Creek. Mrs. Mrs. Creek. Okay, I didn't I didn't say. Well, I didn't say what the question was. I didn't say the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically we worked the whole time, but like um, we're the kind of people that hey, hey, that's kind of what we do. Again, yes. if we hit the magical number. If we of hit the 90, 90 and share, we're at 57. Share, yes, so that's I'm awesome. Give an apron away tonight. I'll give be a third gift. So uh, he's got more things to give away if we get more guests. So we're going to talk tonight about um, the products, the, the mini tote, the um, mini milk carton, and the K-cup holder. Now, um, the Tom, can you measure this one and tell me, do we need the extended platform on it? These, what are you just laying on so the extended So if you're buying the excuse me if you're buying the mini tote oh it's close mm. no it's not because the platform oh. starts right no, here you're gonna need the okay extended platform. you're going to need the extended platform by with, the way we have those <clears throat> at 20 percent off too. with all of these dies all three of them and that means <coughs> sorry when you buy your machine, it comes with, most of the time you have this big, long platform, unless you have a die, I'm talking about the Sizzix products. If you bought a Sizzix a long time ago, you'll have a shorter platform, but most of us have this longer platform and it comes with shorter cutting plates. <clears throat> and yes, we are so romantic. We work for fun. That's true. Romantic. <clears throat> That's kind of how we roll. Work hard and then sit on the front porch and and, and, and see and, how, talk about how tired we are. And look at how much we worked <laughs> and talk about how tired we are. So you do need the extended cutting platforms. These dies are very, very large. And I did want to show you, <clears throat> you're going to want to, I pre-cut everything tonight so you guys don't have to sit and watch the die cutting. Um, but I did want to show you that when you put this die, the, the K-cup, this is really big. Um, when you put that up on your um, cutting platform, you want to cut all of these. I prefer to cut all of these with cardstock. And um, I, I guess I did cut that one. I cut this one with some pattern paper, the inside pieces, the milk tote. I cut that with pattern paper. But I really, the tote especially needs to be cut with cardstock. And here's what I wanted to show you. When you put this on your paper see if i can get back do you see how that it almost covers the whole six by 12 piece of paper okay six by 12 so if you have um a piece of paper and you run it through your die cut machine sometimes what will happen is that the paper will shift just a little ah! and um it'll be you'll it won't be cut all the way to the end so she wants to know how wide they are this die is five and five sixteenths. It is almost six inches wide. Okay, so I'm cutting with the Sizzix or the Sizzix Big Shot or the Sizzix Vagabond. Um, Those have a six inch platform. Which have wow. a um, six inch platform. So what I want to tell you is if this gets crooked when you run it through your die cut machine, it doesn't matter because the piece that gets cut off is the tab piece that you're folding to the inside and it will not show. So if you die cut this and you freak out because, oh my gosh, it didn't cut all the way over here because it moved a little bit, that's okay. It's all good. Rita said you need to take a drink. Yeah, I was choking earlier. Okay. <laughs> okay, so when you, I'm gonna start with the, um, well, let me just say this. Both the K cup, and the mini tote die have the base die that come in them and then they have this little accessory die inside of them this little guy 
Did okay. You that in there when you ran it through one time? I it's did. Like, I, like I sure did. And if you're not paying attention <laughs> when you die cut, this will, this will make me feel good. Do you see that right there? That mark? I tape these in my die when I store them, and I put them in the storage envelope. And I actually ran this through the die cut machine taped to my die. But it's all good. Um, didn't I mean, I have a little mark there, but it's okay. Okay, so you can run this. The per, Here's the purpose of these little pieces. You can run this through your die cut machine and die cut it, and then go back and put the little notch on there. And that little notch will give you this little piece at the top. So you can tie a little piece of ribbon on it, okay? So that's for the K-cup, and it's on the um, the mini tote. Heather said, now you know which die is yours. You identify. It's kind of like a brand. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. So it's on the mini tote, too. So you can use it. You can drop it in there and use it that way. So here's the K-cup with the little notch at the top, and here's one without the notch. So if I put it on there, then you... Um, you don't have the option of having more room and sometimes you might want to put a little saying or something on there. So you can decide whether you want it on there. Isn't that cool how the, uh, this is the outline letters. You can get the, the number on there. Number okay, 40. number 40, the big four O. Okay, so um, with the K cup holder, it is made so that the, it makes the notch for the K cup. Okay, which is really fun. But let's say that you wanted to put, I don't know, crayons or something else in it and you didn't want to put the K-cup in it. We do sell the empty K-cups without a lid. K -cups. Okay, that's it's just the empty K-cup. And we make it so that you can um, put chocolate in it. And so what's really cool even if you don't use the um, mini tote die, you can take two K cups and put them back to back and have um, coffee or cocoa on one side and chocolate on the other. And you can use that little tie at the top to decorate them. And then if you wanted to, you could wrap a ribbon around the whole thing. So tons of different ways to use these things. I wanted to explain that little notch on them. I'm gonna... Um, start with the K cup and then we will. So what we're working on tonight is uh, the sunshine version. Okay. And because we're, we're all, we're, we're I'm stuck on sunshine right now. So um, this is what we're going to work on tonight, but you can see just by changing up your paper and your sentiments and stuff, you can change it out. Okay. This is the new uh, bless you. Um, die and Oh, one other thing I want to talk about tonight. Um, the, every YouTube video that we shoot has a blog post. The blog post has direct links to the website. So um, the links are there. And on tonight's blog post link, there is a link to um, Amazon. When we travel and do shows, I pick up stuff. I just pick up stuff. Are you talking about like those cupcake tins that you made me buy in Florida that time? Yes. <laughs> but this was a little package of Velcro dots that I picked up and I threw them in the closet. And the other day I was like, man, I wish I had Velcro small enough that would fit on the box so that I could open and close the box. Okay. So there is a link on the blog to these um, Velcro dots. They're three eighths or five eighths inch circles. I don't know if you can see them. They are the littlest things ever. And I do have some on order for us to have, but I don't have them right now. I, I don't know, maybe a week and a half or so, but there's a link to Amazon. And if you purchase that through us, we'll get a little bitty kickback, but it, I love the way I put one on this side here so you can pull this open and then there's Velcro dots and then there's chocolate. Okay, chocolate. so that's on 
the blog post. Fun stuff. Any questions so far? We've got 68. All we need we are 22 got 60. more for a third got giveaway. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start. I'm going to make the um, K-cup holder first, and then I'm going to show you how to do the mini tote. And um, we are going to do the mini milk carton. Did you bring the one with the window? <laughs> I started, I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't had hardly any chance to really sit down and play with this product. This product came out hey, last fall, last fall, late, and then, Just before and then part of it didn't come. The, the mini tote, actually, um, I did not think it was possible to make this into a die. So um, I didn't even come out with it until December. And one time um, in December, I had a like, oh my gosh, I could do this and this and change the file so that it would fit in the die cut machine. So this really hasn't even hardly been out in, a, in the marketplace at all. And I haven't had time to work with it. And I started working with it in the last few days. And Whoa. so we're gonna do the two pieces tonight. And then on Tuesday, we're going to work on the mini milk carton because I told Tom if I do all this tonight, it's going to take us a while. So he said, why don't you break off mini milk carton and we're going to do it Tuesday. on Tuesday. Tuesday. So Tuesday. if we get time, we might do the basic one tonight, but I have some really cool things that we can do with that um, mini milk carton and we won't, we will not have time to get to all that tonight. So how are we doing? We're doing good. Okay. So I'm going to, turn the camera down so hang on to your hang on to your hat baby and we're going to do the kick up now i, I want to tell you this there's more talking <laughs> um whenever i have a die that has specific measurements on it then i make a jig and woodworkers call a jig they call it jig they a jig they call a jig a jig. <laughs> Woodworkers use a jig. If they're going to measure something over and over, they make it once and they keep it. And then the next time, all they have to do is mark. They don't have to keep remeasuring. My dad's, um, he's not a woodworker, but he builds all kinds of really amazing things. So um, when I craft, I make a jig. If I am measuring or taping and doing the same thing over and over again, then I'm making a jig. And every die in this set, all three of these dies, I have a jig. So um, if you have some orange paper, you might want to get your orange paper out. And um, I will say this also. Does it have to be orange? I'm sorry, it does not have to be orange. I use orange because it's easy to locate. And when I keep my die in my storage envelope, if I have my um, orange cardstock in there, then I know, oh yeah, I made a jig for that. Where'd, so where'd I you, know, where'd you get that envelope? this is our, we have these storage envelopes and they're fantastic for these big dies, all fits in there. And um, so the jig already has my measurements and markings on it. So all three of these dies have a jig with them. And I have previously shot video with all three of these dies and there are stand up standalone YouTube videos for all three of them. So if you want to go back, you don't have to go and watch the live feed all over again. You can go watch my um, YouTube videos that I previously shot. Okay, I'm gonna, any questions? Uh, no. Oh, goodness, I just dropped everything on the floor. Maybe okay, yes, please, that would be awesome. Okay, I, we're gonna start with the K-Cup. Hello, Angie, good to see everybody. And Deborah and Joanne, we have people coming from all over, people joining us from all over tonight. Okay, I am going to turn the camera down and we're going to set this up and get started. Hang on. Hang on, Snoopy. Is it Snoopy? Sloopy. 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 Hang on. Okay. How are we looking, ladies? Down there. We are all over the place. I think I'm looking all over the place. You're kind of shaky. I'm shaky, baby. Does the lighting seem weird? Yeah, the lighting looks good. Okay, is that grid pad crooked, ladies? Now, do you, now if you go up and down instead of sideways, you'll get the whole die in. 
I go up and down with your with your with your paper and your die. If you go to and from instead of side to side. Right now you're cutting the die out. Looking good. Uh, Lois said I look good. Well, you do look Lois good. Lois is a friend of Maybe mine. Good. I'm going to raise it up that a little bit to try to get a bigger picture. Would you like my help with that? No. Just stay right where you are, baby. The writing is upside down. The writing? Oh, yes, it is. Because it Diana, is. can you not read upside down? It is, it is <laughs> Diana. <upside> down. <laughs> okay. Look, watch this. Da -da -da. Now it's right side Outside down. down. Okay, so this is my jig. And whenever I create, I die cut my piece here. And I lay my piece out so that it matches the jig exactly. Okay? So there we go. Um, so you want to lay your piece out so that it matches exactly. And I did already... Um, die cut this so you guys wouldn't have to um sit and watch me die cut okay so what i have here is i just kind of want to walk you through the markings that i have on here i have um fat pin marks on here and i have thin pin marks i'm going to pull it up closer so you can see so anywhere that i put a fat black marker line that is my indication that I need tape on them, okay? So I'm pulling this up closer so you can see where I have put those, okay? Now, if I need to do work on both sides, then I have marked both sides. So I always look at it and make sure I have both sides. Do I have anything on the other side, okay? So we're going to start on this side, and I also have on here marked where I'm going to put my pattern paper. Show you this close up. Where I have my pattern paper and what size the pattern paper is. Okay. Now I also have a note for myself on here. It says the pattern paper goes on after construction. Okay. Sometimes it's easier um, to put the pattern paper on when this is laying flat, when I make the mini milk carton, I put the decorative paper on when it's still laying flat. Okay. In this case, I made a note for myself. Note to self. Pattern paper goes on after construction. So the accent pieces for the K cup are two by two, and I need five of them. And the long piece that goes back here is two by 4.25, okay? Now in this case, I did not cut the notch in the top. If I wanted to cut the notch, now I would get my die out, I would set the notch die on there and I would die cut. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just gonna replicate exactly what is on the jig on the paper. So we want tape here and here. And here and here. So I'm using um, our quarter inch super tacky tape tonight to make this. And I will tell you that I vacillate between um, tape and liquid glue. Sometimes I use one or the other. Tom, can you open that and make sure that that's a go for me in case I need it? So I like the tape. Um, because it stabilizes everything, but sometimes glue is necessary too. Okay, so on this, I have my tape and I'm gonna turn the whole thing over. And what I have here is it's marked one, two, three, or one, three, two. And that is telling me which panels are gonna fold in first. Are there score lines where you are taping? No, no, I am, let me show you, see if they can see this. There's my score line, so I'm on the other side of the score. The inside or the outside, my love? Well, it's going to be on the inside. Okay, so you'll just want to make the jig and set the jig up and mark. Okay, 
And if we need to make a diagram, if they would like a diagram, I can make a diagram and put it on the Creek Bank Creations Creativity group. Yes, simple, simple. You know you have a major project tomorrow. Don't say what you're doing. But what am I doing tomorrow? I'm not telling. Oh, don't tell, anyone. Don't <clears throat> tell a soul. Okay, on the opposite side, we're putting tape. So here's my hole. I'm putting tape here. Yeah, I can, um, that might help them if they have a diagram. So if you're not in the Creek Bank Creations Creativity Group and you want me to make this into a PDF file, email me creekbc at gmail.com and I will email it to you because we have issues with um, Facebook right now. Now we're gonna train our folds. Fold that all in. So we have big long fold right there. Man, are you hot? No, you're you're in the light. Oh, we have um, no air conditioning tonight. So, is it hot where you guys are? What's the temperature where you're at? So I'm gonna just train these folds back and forth, and then I'm gonna fold this up. Now I want. I will tell you this, we, we have, there. there's our first fold right there. There's the second fold right there. There's the third fold, okay? The fourth fold, when you get to this end, you don't need to fold. That's gonna be the top, and we want that to actually stand up. So um, I made it so you could fold it down if you want to, but most of the time, you're gonna have it standing up, so don't fold the last one. So we're folding one, two, three, one, two, three. We're not folding where that last one is, okay? Now, we're gonna turn this over and we wanna be so that the numbers are facing up, okay? One, three, two. And we are going to remove all the tape. When I turn this over, we wanna be careful so we don't stick it down. I like to remove all the tape liner at once. So you have to be careful when I flip this over that I don't push it down into the, into the deck. Seventy six, seventy four, a hundred percent humidity. That is not a good thing. It was pretty humid here today too. I was cleaning window frames out in the driveway and it was hot. Okay. Get my folds going the right way. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna start and we're gonna take the number one the one that's marked number one, and we're gonna pull those flaps up and we want those to stand straight up. Then we're going to take our end piece. We're gonna fold those both in. Did you, did you start a new group on Facebook? It's called Creek Bank Creations Creativity. And how do you join? They have to request to join. Okay. The problem is Facebook is not getting me the requests. I'm not, so the, I, my issue is with Facebook at this point. They can request to join and we can try, but I am having an issue. Okay, so that was step one, okay? We pulled that, that one in and we pulled the back up and we stuck that together. There's kind of looks like a chair right now, okay? Now what we want to do is move to where it says number two and fold those up straight up, fold that piece straight up. And we're going to take this whole thing and we're going to go all the way over and we're tucking that in and going in. Now, so I want you to see this. I'm holding this, I'm tucking it in and pushing the whole thing over and then I'm going to adhere it right to the other side. So I have tape on that little flap. We're taping it right there, okay? Now we have these two flaps left, and this is these are the flaps that have one, 
two, three pieces of adhesive on them. We're gonna fold that in and we just made our box. Okay, so you can see how having that K-cup uh, cheat sheet is extremely helpful. Extremely. 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 Now we are using the um, Sunshine paper pad tonight and um, so we're going to adhere this. I, I don't know if I did or not. I thought you said the glue was uh, operational because well, I can tell you I'm about to blow the head off. Glue in it? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I, I just saw if there was, if it was uh, good. Yeah. Blue. Yeah. Okay. We're going to adhere so these on. No, no. It's just that I think when I shot video the other day, I didn't get the lid back on. Oh, that's kind of yeah, right. Not that I would ever do that. You know, you so we're going to two by place. two squares all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to just adhere those on. And we're working with the sunshine paper pad tonight. Now, I like to put one on the bottom just because I think it stabilizes everything. Okay. And you don't have to put one on the bottom, but it's cuteness. Okay, here's our back panel. Let's get our measurement for that. It was two by 4.25 right there. Stick that on, and I am, oh, that's not good. The sound is on my phone, Tom. Let's hope nobody Did calls me. Connection? No, let's hope nobody calls me. <laughs> oh. Okay, so um, this is the stamp set called You Are My Sunshine, and I stamped Sending a Little Bit of Sunshine, and we're going to put that right up in here. And that's a two by two. So that's a, if you don't have that stamp set, it's a good stamp set for putting this on here. A little nice little accent. There we go. There's our K cup container. Now we can put our little K cup in there, or we can put a little cup in there, fill it up, and then you could put a clear bag and tie it. Or you can put your, like, do your K-cup like that, okay? So here's what I want to show you. If you're going to use the empty K-cup and you want to put a special treat in there, thunder and lightning, not good. Um, so let's say you want to put Starburst or something in there and you want to put a lid on it like I did this one. All I can say is thanks. And I made my own top for that, or this one, I put the flower top on it, okay? So the question is, how do you do that? And I'm so glad that you asked that question. <laughs> I'm so glad we had this time together. Who sings that? Uh, Carol Burnett. Oh, oh my gosh, show my age. Okay, hey, this so this is, is a two inch circle punch. Okay, so um, if you don't have a two inch circle punch, I recommend you get one because it's handy. If you don't have a, a circle punch, you could just use a circle die. This is the two inch. And we are going to take the two inch punch and we are going to punch a piece of cardstock with our super tacky tape on the back. So we sell super tacky tape in a three inch roll or a six inch roll. So you would unroll the tape, put your paper in it. So one side is paper, one side is tape. So we're gonna take our punch, put that in there, and we're gonna punch. And it takes some doing with the um, super tacky tape and the paper, that's a lot to punch through. So if you um, are like me and you have issues with your hands, you might have to find somebody that can help you that's hefty <laughs> because it's really hard to punch. Okay, now I have, you could, step on it. <clears throat> you could step on it, a one and a half. And I'm gonna punch two of those. And this is just regular cardstock. 
Okay. So I have one that I can stamp my sentiment and adhere to the top, but here's where the magic happens. This is what's kind of fun. Let's, I'm going to glue that on the top just for the heck of it. Okay. So we pretend we stamped on it. There's my top. This, I think this is fun. <clears throat> okay. We're going to turn it over. We're going to pull the liner off. Maybe. There we go. Using our pick tool, to pull that liner off. Now, this is my one and a half inch circle. I'm going to put that on the middle. Okay, now I can take my K cup and I can push that right down on there. Or I can, oops, stick it on from the top. I'm not straight. So I'm not straight. I'm going to solve that problem. If you don't get it on straight, just get a little undo on there. Uh, no, the glue has not come in yet. Uh, any word? That, do we have an expected delivery? The glue is on the way. I have a. It's I have shipped. a. Yeah. Yes, I do. Sarah, Sarah, I the do. Been shipped. I do oh, have a tracking oh, number. Oh, God. There we go. Now this allows you using it, the tape and punching it like that allows you to put anything you want on the inside of the cup, and then you have your own custom K cup. That is why we sell the empty K cup. Because now you can put your own treat in there. You can decorate the K-cup any way you want. And you have a really awesome, fun thing to give. So I don't know if you caught that. If you get it on crooked, use the undo to align it. So that is how we make the covering for the K-cup. And we are... Ha what time is it? We are halfway through. Are you ready? Are we are ready for... Um, a giveaway do you okay have, are now, you this is this is for do i get to come over there do i get to come over there ladies i'm going to pull the camera up hang on to your hang on to your hat so to speak okay 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 can you do this I'll go yes. rinse this yes maybe ah. okay hey are we having fun crafters let me get that where you see me aha uh -huh. uh. Mm. Mm. okay Oh, I dropped him. All right. This is for all 12 packages. Remember, not to be eaten. They look good, but don't eat them. Okay. All 12 packages of the self-adhesive pearls. We've got white, yellow, purple, uh, pink, brown, black, one of my favorites, reds. Cherry flavored, uh, orange. Whoops, we've got light blue, royal blue, dark green, and a light green. Okay, tomorrow, this is the question. Are you ready for the question? I'm ready. Julie is going to do something tomorrow with her daughter in law. You know, if they're my friend on Facebook, they know. Don't, don't be giving people hints. I, I'm not. I just don't be giving not people giving hints. Any, no hints. No, don't hint. You that. people don't need hints. Okay. All right. She's going to be do some, doing something tomorrow with my daughter-in-law. Okay. She's going to be picking something, and then she's going to be making something out of what she's picking, and then she's going to be doing something with what she's making. Okay. I want you to tell me the three things that she's going to be doing tomorrow. And the winner gets all 12 packets of the um, Boy, that's a adhesive one. pearls. I know it's a cough. That's why I need to get over here so I can okay. feel those questions. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Did you all understand that question? That was kind of complex. Oh, they're guessing. There's three answers. There, there's are they? There's going to be three answers. Yeah. So funny. So in Indiana about we're from indiana we are coming live to you tonight from perrysville indiana we broadcast this transmission <laughs> from the um former perrysville grade school did y'all know that this is um i'm sorry i'm trying to hold the phone and talk at the same time and i'm bouncing all over the place the um our business is actually located in what is called the perrysville manor um, which is actually the former Perrysville grade school that they converted into senior housing. And we actually rent the doctor's office 
here. <clears throat> then we have our studio set up in the waiting room of the doctor's office. So in Indiana, a few weeks ago, this would have been a good question to ask. Did you see uh, Becky? Adams? Okay, Becky Adams. Is is Becky around. Adams. She had Becky, all three items. Becky, Becky, Becky. And Becky. Um, oh, we had a. I got this to say. Okay. Becky's Becky Ron had a fourth answer in there just in case she. Yes, didn't but I probably will do the fourth one. Uh, there's the a pie. Lot of, there's a lot of people that got picking strawberries and making jam, but uh -huh. nobody else said candy. Candy. So Becky Adams yeah. is the winner. Congratulations, yeah. Becky. Uh, I think we. Becky. I don't think I've got your mailing address, so I need you to email me. Yeah, Becky, address. can you email <clears throat> creekbc at gmail.com? I'm sure she's in the system, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, so if you, that way we know you, we have your current, she's in the system, but I need it on the current line. address. <laughs> so we have 64 Becky. people watching. So we had a hard frost two weeks ago in Indiana, and a lot of the produce, um, a lot of the crops have been damaged. So I talked to a, a farm about 40 minutes south of us last week, and she said they lost 80% of their blueberry crop, all of the early blooming apples, and 50% of their strawberry um, production from that frost. So... Um, Strawberries are going to be hard to come by around here, and we're going to get on it tomorrow and, and see if we can't get some nice berries picked. I'll try to get some pictures. So, um, good job. Have you have uh, somebody said grapes? Has anybody ever made grape jelly? Anybody here made grape jelly? Grape, grape jelly. When I was a kid, we made grape jelly. Oh my gosh. That is a horrible experience. <laughs> oh, it's so much work. So, um, any questions? Yeah, Cindy, did you think it was worth the work? Cindy's saying she's made grape jelly. Just wondered if you thought it was worth the work. It sure seems like a lot of work. Hail on, yeah, so, you know, this is going to do nothing but make the price of produce go up even higher, which is not good. So I really um, love blueberries, and I am hoping that I can get blueberries this year. We'll see. We'll have to see what happens. So, yeah, only did it once. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I, it's, I tell Tom, I'm like, you know, a can of beans is like 79 cents. I don't know if it's worth it. But it is nice when you have your own things. So... Yeah, I don't, I've never done elderberry. I, do we have elderberry around here, Tom? Or is that northern? Yeah, we do. But yes, yes, we do. Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, but not everybody has them. In fact, I was going to put some elderberry plant, pants. Some elderberry pants? Plant, plants. <laughs> He's yeah, going to so get some elderberry pants. Okay, so we've got the cake up done. How easy? Did you guys think that was easy? Easy? So tell me in the chat, did you think that was easy or hard? That looks pretty easy, doesn't it? I think once you have the the uh, the setup sheet, the cheat sheet, the jig that I make, that um, that really helps. Like you know where to tape and you know where, where to go in first and second. So um, I think that really helps. Now, when we do the little mini tote, we're going to have to make two of them. So when you, if you're going to make the little tote to give away, you're going to have to cut two pieces. That's actually two. Let me show you from the bottom. You have two separate pieces. Okay, so we're going to have to cut two. We're going to make them, and then we're going to adhere them back to back. So you really could just have, you could make one. If you wanted to make a little holder for the milk carton, you could do that. Um, I just think this is just... So much fun. So um, we are going to um, turn the camera down and um, work on the mini tote. So hang on. We're going down. So we have 63 viewers tonight. 63 happy campers. Yeah. 63. Yeah. 
applesauce. Yeah, applesauce. So much work. We did applesauce. We're gonna have apples. I'm gonna be excited. Yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta. I gotta yeah, eat. we're gonna try to get apples this year, so we can use our cider press. We don't have trees. We need to. Tom's planting trees. Okay, K cup holder. Or I'm sorry, the mini tote is where we're going. So let me open this up for you. Get it out of the package. And I do also keep this in the storage envelope. Are you guys seeing that okay? There's my totes that I have cut. There's my jig. Get my papers out. Okay, I have this pre-cut so you guys don't have to sit and listen to die cutting. So when you open up your die for this, you're going to find that you have this long piece and that's your base die. And then you have the little notch that we talked about earlier that if you wanna go back in and set that up in the top, you can. And I do keep my purple tape on these and tape them in. Um, and then you have the um, this piece and you have this rectangle. So I wanna show you on the project, the rectangle, this piece is your, your, your front piece of the holder, okay? Now, I could have just had you guys cut that as a rectangle shape, but I had room on the die and we did not um, have to charge you extra, so that's like a throw-in, so that piece is already ready for you. You could measure and cut it if you want to, but it, I did include it because it wasn't any extra cost for you. Now, this is kind of what's fun. This piece comes with your with your mini tote, and this is the piece that cuts that front panel for you so that it, it's exact. Is it, are you coming through on your monitor because I lost you? I'm, I'm on my monitor, yes. Okay, this is good. So just, can you refresh? I'm trying to refresh. Okay. Everybody, how's everybody else? Can you, if you can see me, can you say yes or no? I just told Romaine to hit the, the refresh button on the top of the screen, and then I go to mine, and I don't have a refresh button anymore. So. Yes, everyone else can see me, so I'm going to keep going. Thank you guys for doing that. Okay, so if you're if you're going to make your tote, you're going to cut two of those, one for this side and one for this side. You do not have to decorate the outside of the box. Like here, I did not decorate the outsides of these boxes, but I do think it looks nice if you throw um, a little accent on there. And this is our oval scallop and our stitched oval, and they are designed to be cut together. So really looks pretty on there. And this uh, oval is what I used on the top here. I actually cut that same oval and then just bent it over the top. This is the Bless You Cinnamon die. And the, um, I will show you this too while we're on this. This is the mini butterfly set, and it has these little bitty butterflies, and it has little bitty flowers on it. And they're just perfect for these smaller projects. We also have the sentiment stamp. Tom, would you go get me the um, wreath maker sentiment stamp? And it might be up there in that corner over there. Wreath Maker uh, Cinnamon Stamp has a whole series of cinnamons that are small. They're pretty small. And they're perfect for these little spaces that you have. Here we go. Thank you so much, hon. Um, so they're good for these. And it has Get Well Soon, Love You, Happy Mother's Day, You're in My Prayers, Bless You, Happy Easter, You're the Best, Congrats, Thanks So Much. And I don't know if you can tell how small they are. Very, very small. Very, uh, very small. Oh, yes, you did. They are so small. Okay, so this, these are great for the K-Cup because they're they're small sentiments. How small are they? Very small, baby. Very so small. if we're going to make the two tote, we're going to cut two of the base. We're going to cut two of this shape like a house. And we're going to cut two of the rectangles, Okay. And I have previously cut those. Okay, so we have, um, I have my jig already set up and let's see if we have a two-sided, nothing on the other side. I only have instructions on one side. 
So I'm telling myself, I'm gonna cut a two by two inch piece of paper for the bottom. And this one really does need it. It helps stabilize it. And I'm showing myself here, pull that up so you can see it, that my die cut pattern paper is gonna go here and I've told myself to cut two. And you can see how that shape is gonna hit on and off. So the dark lines are showing where my tape is going. And guys, I'm sorry that I did not get my notifications off. I did already cut my oh, notch. Didn't turn off the I'm sorry, I didn't turn off the volume. We're gonna put tape. I should have turned my sound off on my phone. Took a took a time off and uh, came back a slacker. Okay, so I have tape here, tape here, tape here. We're gonna train our folds. Just go down through there, train everything. And I like to just kind of fold these back and forth and get them going. Okay, here's what's fun. So there's my tape side. I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna turn this in. So, oh, we're gonna go this way. There we go. I'm gonna turn this in. Tell myself facing out. Okay, sorry. Face up, tape. We're gonna pull this off and we're gonna turn this in and we're gonna push that down. And that is going to give me that flap on the inside. So then we're gonna take off our tape here and our tape here. And we're going to fold the tape down what is the and, and overall size of this die? Ask Christine Anderson. Christine Anderson. Asking. I'll, I'll, we'll find out here in a minute. Hang on, Christine. Hang on. We're get you an answer. Okay, so we are going to take our two by two square and put that on the bottom. And this one really, I do recommend putting one on the bottom to stabilize it. Um, those flaps are a little bit shorter because this die was so big. This was the die originally I thought we weren't going to be able to produce because it was so large, um, but we did get it. But it, having that flap, having that little piece of paper on the bottom does stabilize everything. And that's how you make your box. That's pretty simple, wasn't it? There's that. Okay, what was the question? How big is it? Um, um, Christine says, what is the overall size of the stack? So let's give us the, her the total. Dimension. It is 10 and a quarter. And by five and five sixteenths. Okay, so now we are going to do the exact same thing with the other one, with the second one. Did you say that size again? I'm sorry. I was typing something else. I'll type it in. <laughs> I don't have any idea. It was five and five sixteenths. Yes. Five. Would six, it work to put that pretty five. square inside the bottom? Oh, yes, absolutely, Diane. That's a great, great idea. Five and five Tom's six, not six, telling me that. That was a good question. Okay. Work put that pretty square inside yeah. the bottom instead of yes. outside of the bottom. I'm just trying to Nice, Diane. It would be. And in one of these, on one of them, I um I actually decorated the inside like I put pattern paper on the inside of that long piece, so you can get as decorative as you want. That's a really good idea, Diane, because then the person would actually see it when they. That's why I hang around you people. You're good. You're very good. You're a good group of women. Okay, the question was, it is ten and a quarter by five and five sixteenths. Right. 10 and one quarter inch. Yeah. By five, five and inch. five sixteenths. Thank okay. you. So if you have projects that you're making with our products, I sure would love to see those over on the Creek Bank page, the Creek Bank Creations Creativity Group. So if you are a member and have been accepted, I sure would love to see what you're making. You accepted. You must yeah, accepted. I want to accept everyone, but I have to have the request in order to accept it. You guys, I forgot to train the fold.
It's too much talking. Would you quit talking so much? <laughs> Not enough working. <laughs> You're in strawberry uh, already. Yeah. I am not. My back has been bothering me. I'm kind of dreading strawberry oh, no. land. Oh, I forgot. Was that a question? No. Did you give it away? Back yeah. I'm not really looking forward to it. I'll have to. Maybe we got to stop at the car practice on the way Ask over. the Lord to touch my back <laughs> before tomorrow. Okay. So I'm very crooked there. So I'm going to straighten it up. So ladies, that's pretty easy, isn't it? That's just pretty easy. Less talking, more time paying attention. Now, there's a lot of other things you can do with that besides. Okay. Right? Yeah, what are they, Tom? Well, you can put that on a bulletin board and you can put little doodads in there for people to take. <laughs> take one. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We can do that. You know what? You probably could do a lot of really cool things with this. But. I think giving it as a gift is amazing. I mean, if somebody came up to me with this little box of sunshine, I would feel happy all over. So you can use these for party favors, baby showers, gifts. You can sell them at crafts fairs and make money. There's that on my piece on the bottom. I have not tried KT tape. That sounds like it might be interesting. What I need to do is go to the chiropractor. Okay, so ladies, do you see how I have two of these? And I saw somewhere where somebody actually took four and made um, like a four pack. I don't know why you'd want to give somebody four of them. I guess two coffees and two cookies or something. Um, but we're going this way with it. Okay, so we're going to back to back. And when I do, um, when I put these back to back, I do use liquid glue because we want to have time to move things around and get it set. So I do like to use a liquid. It does help stabilize everything too. Tell me about the KT tape. I just went to the chiropractor and then back to the garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not good. So we need, we need, uh, not only do we do crafts on this YouTube, we do medical advice. <laughs> okay, so I have glue all over the back, and I'm going to take the two pieces, and I'm going to adhere them together, line everything up, and that, my friends, is our little tote. Fun, fun fun you know you are right tom you could put other things in the tote like look, look at that yeah look at you crafty guy I'm, I'm coming crafty through guy, aren't, aren't you fact, we gotta have, my, gotta have my own youtube channel called one crafty no guy, no huh? you should not <laughs> no you should not How I say it, being okay a <laughs> i have my pieces already cut so we will adhere those and we are wrapping up this session for tonight. Hold it, hold it. I got something. To I know you do. I, that's why I'm telling you. Do you want to come over here to do it or? Diane Wilcox says you could use a two by two piece of scrap paper and use the box to store them in to use for notes. There you go. Yeah. Good. Hey, I, we could even put sticky notes in there. All right, we're gonna get yeah. a wonder wipe. Okay. Where okay. are we at? We have sixty viewers. Okay. So, um, do you want me to ask a question or while I finish up or? Yeah. Yeah. We're okay. Make build the question. Okay. okay. What day was it? Was it Monday? Oh, on Monday. On Monday. Mrs. Creek. M that would be me. Had me go to Julie Reed Treat House and transplant something. Tell me what it is, and it can't be like a vegetable or a flower or. A, uh, you had to go to re Retreat or, House. Or a, uh, or, or a safe plant. I need to know the specific plant that I. The transplanted. name of the plant that he transplanted. transplanted. For a wonder, for a set of wonder wipes. It's an awesome little tool, the wonder wipe. That's Holy what... cow, Christine Anderson! She's <laughs> on it. Christine, oh. she, 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 she had it in big capital letters. So Teresa, where do you buy the KT tape at? So I've put adhesive on my piece that I already die cut and I'm sticking that on that outside edge. We're going to push that down. There you go. Diane's asking the same question. Where do you do that? Woohoo, Christine. Yes. Did you tell him what you did with the hosta? No. 
Yeah, we Retreat House has uh, five years ago. Yes, we planted um, hosta at Retreat House, and those plants are very large now, and um, they need we're moving them to our house. So, Mr. Creek had the pleasure of moving hosta this week. Nice, big, beautiful plants. So that was a that was a blessing. Yeah, I bet they don't like Florida. They, I bet the sun they, them, don't they? I'm surprised they even can survive. We have a lot of shade at our house, so they are shade lovers we for sure. Some trees in the front yard. Okay, that, ladies, is the box. And now you have the ability to put your K-cup in there and your little milk carton right there. That's a sweet thing. So um, I'm going to pull the camera up. Hang on. I don't want to make you sick. Hang on. Are you ah, coming over here to, to uh, talk to finish up with the lady? Hmm? Are you going to come over here to talk and yes. finish up? Because we're finishing up. So do we have uh, Christine's address? Where's Christine from? Yes, I have Christine Anderson's. I think I've got Becky Adams. Uh, Becky said she um, sent I, hers oh, already. Great, great. Okay. So listen, thank you, lady, so but much. I didn't, I didn't She's been to, digging I didn't them up. Becky to wait for her stuff while and I was giving them through. away. Carla, where are you at? A hundred. She giving away? She's uh, digging up iris. Wow. You want irises? Oh, I'd like a few. I thought you had me dig some of those up a long time ago and do something with them. They're Pur at retreat. They have purple ones. They're at retreat house. Oh, they're choked out by Sorry. the uh, the other things. Little. Hey, we really appreciate you, okay. crafters. Yes, we have rest. Us. Hope you had fun tonight. We yeah. did. We did. If you noticed, that rest did us some good because it kind of changed our attitude. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> hey, Lord bless you all. We appreciate yes, you. We you love being so with you much every, uh, twice a week. for coming and hanging out with us. And um, it just helps us if you watch the videos and you chat with us. It's an amazing thing. Because when you interact with us, it causes the video to go out more and reach new customers. And we've had customers from the West Coast and from Arizona and Idaho and, and so, California. Thank you so and, much. And uh, uh, all the way up to Maine. All yeah. right. Thank so. you so much. It's Thursday, right? Yeah. Have yes. a great weekend. Have a great weekend. See you later. And we'll, we'll tell see you about you. the jam on Monday. We'll see you on Tuesday for Milk Carton Extravaganza. We can't wait to see you. Bye now. The Lord bless you and keep you. Indeed. See you. <laughs> Good night.